This one about ozone is tricky because there's actually a wide variety of choices to consider here. First, let's just look at the prompt. Ozone is formed in the atmosphere from hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides, two major pollutants emitted by automobiles, react with sunlight. And so what's wrong about that is that we read the whole sentence and it's fine until suddenly we get to this verb react at the end and that verb react has no subject. So A is wrong because it just leaves a verb hanging at the end of the sentence with no subject. B has the same independent clause, ozone is formed in the atmosphere, blah, 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 when, so instead of a preposition, it creates a coordinated conjunction, a subordinate conjunction. And of course, a subordinate conjunction is followed by a noun and a verb. So when hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide, subject, verb, react. So that at least is grammatically correct. We'll go, we'll go back to that. Let's look at the other and see, first of all, how many are grammatically correct. C, ozone is formed in the atmosphere, and then we have and when. And so what's odd about this, we have subject verb and then and when subject verb. And the trouble with this is when we have an independent clause, as we do with a subject and verb, and then the word and, we need another independent clause. And unfortunately, all we get in option C is a dependent clause. So independent clause and dependent clause, that is an incorrect or invalid structure for a sentence. So C is not grammatically correct. D is interesting because it changes around, takes away the, the is, and so makes a participle at the first part of the sentence. So ozone, formed when, formed blah, 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 when blah, blah, blah. And the trouble is now we have a noun that's looking for a verb and it has no verb. So this is the opposite of the problem that we had in A. In A we had a verb missing a noun. Here we have a noun missing a verb. So that is incorrect. And then finally, E, ozone, form blah, 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 from blah, blah, blah. And then ozone is the only noun and the only verb it has is react. But ozone react with sunlight First of all, that's not quite correct. It's not the ozone reacting with the sunlight. It's the hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides. But also, ozone is singular, and react is a plural verb. So this noun does not match this verb. So that's grammatically incorrect also. And it turns out the only one that is even remotely correct grammatically is answer choice B. And that is by far the best answer.